It is probably the most sought after prize in physics. Einstein wanted it, everyone talks about it, and dissidents claim to have solved it. What is it? The unification of the four forces of nature. They are gravity, electromagnetism, the strong force, what keeps atomic nucleus together, and the weak force, or radioactivity. The latest in the quest for the grand unification has been quantum gravity, or the unified field theory, where physicists are trying to unify Einstein's general relativity with the strong force inside the atom. So far, there has been little success with many candidate theories not passing the grade and having been debunked by the experiments during the last 10 years of the Large Hadron Collider. I'm here today to tell you that the four forces of nature exist, but the goal of unification is an artificial problem that has resulted in the way we have advanced science during the last 400 years. Human interest in gravity, electromagnetism, chemistry, and eventually particle physics have created their own worlds, own vocabulary, and own empirical equations. Concepts from each of the areas seem different enough that they were thought to be elementary in nature. Gravity has the graviton, electromagnetism has charge, chemistry has beta decay, and particle physics has a virtual zoo of supposedly fundamental properties that have no relationship with the other areas. In a world of blind physicists touching different parts of the universe, the urge to find a description of the entire elephant is a natural human tendency, and there are many attempting to describe the entire elephant. Science has relied heavily on mathematics. The equations produced by physicists and scientists in each of these separate areas are equations that try to describe how the universe functions. Inevitably, the equations end up as force equations where movements can be described and predicted. So it is logical that the force equations are the first place where scientists look in order to find a theory of everything, or as they often say, unify the forces. Mainstream physics has not been able to accomplish this unification. Physicists currently have tasked themselves with unifying Einstein's general relativity and the strong force. Quantum gravity, or gravity at the subatomic level, is calling physicists like sirens of old, calling sailors to their deaths along the rocky coast. But in this case, the coast is particle physics and relativity. But as the science woke community knows, this endeavor is doomed given the inherent and fundamental problems with non-physical models such as general relativity and the standard model. Unifying two fundamentally flawed concepts is a wasted endeavor. Luckily, for you and for the human race, we have amazing people outside the mainstream that are tackling this problem from all angles, each one worth our time to examine. New models and theories of the universe can be broken down into three groups. Equation unification, equation in new mechanisms, and ones that simply propose new mechanisms without equations. When it comes to unifying the actual force equations of mainstream science, we need look no further than Science Woke and the award-winning Dr. Bill Lucas, a physicist working outside the mainstream who has come up with a universal force equation. In his book, The Universal Force, Dr. Lucas describes an equation that in fact unifies all four forces of the universe through axiomatic and empirical scientific methods. Dr. Lucas writes on the back of his book, the Universal Force, Volume 1. The resulting classical electrodynamic force law obtained appears capable of explaining all the phenomenon for which relativity theory and quantum mechanics were invented to explain. A recent newcomer to the science woke community, Jeff Yi, has been working on his energy wave model, which is an example where he both unifies existing energy and force equations while proposing a new physical model. In Yi's model, there are only two particles, ether granules and neutrinos. Yi then goes on to describe particles in the standard model as standing waves in ether, centered around neutrino cores. He proposes a new periodic table of the current subatomic particles in the standard model, and is able to derive these particles and their properties with only four constants, instead of the 19 or more constants of mainstream science. 
Jeff's work is extensive and exhaustive, and he has been producing videos on his YouTube channel together with a fantastic website where he guides people through his model, which is a great step forward in simplifying the existing standard model. His model is well worth your time to investigate and represents both a simplification in math as well as in the physical model for the universe. There are two models I want to talk about that are proposing new mechanisms for the universe which do not attempt to unify the supposed four forces of nature. They attempt to describe the universe with new mechanics without working with empirical equations. They rely on Newtonian mechanics and infinity. The infinite universe theory is a theory by scientist and philosopher Dr. Glenn Borkert, who proposes that ether is the dominant feature in a universe of indefinite levels. Ether in his model relies strictly on Newtonian laws, with light being waves in ether and gravity from an entrained ether around bodies. The other two forces as well are assumed not to be unique, but it is expected that his model, when developed further, will indeed describe the four forces. Although Dr. Borkert has not gone into the description of the actual construct of atoms as Yi and Lucas have, Borkert has replaced the electron, light, and gravity with an ether particle. This is a great simplification in the mechanics of the universe, reducing it to moving particles and Newtonian forces. He calls the mechanics of his new model neomechanics. In his most recent book, The Infinite Universe Theory, Borkert reveals one of his hallmark concepts in the new age of the scientific woke, the concept of infinity. His ether is not an ultimate particle in the universe. There are ethers in his model all the way down, with Borkert labeling them A1, A2, A3, and on down. He also says there are macrostructures infinitely above. This avoids the problem of ever having magical particles with magical properties. In the end, Borkert's model does not look at all at the empirical equations of the supposed four forces, but instead proposes an entirely new physical model. The particle model, like the Borkert model, is completely based on Newtonian physics and also has infinite levels. The model describes all four forces as being a result of simple Newtonian mechanics. The difference is that light in the particle model is not through collisions as it is with ether, but are formed as waves of same speed particles traveling in waves. What is interesting in this model is how Coulomb's force equation can simply be replaced by the same equation for Newton's gravity. The only difference is it involves gravity particles at the next level. Just as Borkert's ether model, where there are ethers at all levels of the universe, in the particle model, there are gravity particles at all levels of the universe. Notice how the empirical equations for Coulomb's law is in fact in the same form as Newton's equation for gravity. In the particle model, gravity as we know it is caused by G1 particles, whereas what is called Coulomb's force is in the particle model, gravity caused by G2 particles at a different level. Gravity is the result of a particular behavior of similar particles, no matter what level of the universe we are examining. In the particle model, gravity is caused by similar particles traveling in random directions. The G1 particle replaces the photon, electron, electricity, and magnetic fields, thus greatly simplifying the standard model. Like the Borkert model, it has infinite levels and only works with Newtonian concepts. Modern models differ from the standard model in their approach to what they call unifying the four forces. Whereas the standard model tries to glue together the four separately discovered equations as separate and distinct forces, newer models from the dissident community are creating models that describe the universe not through forces or equations, but through physicality and behaviors. Whether it be a truly unified force equation like Dr. Lucas's universal force law, a hybrid model like Jeff Yee's energy wave theory with equation simplification and a new model, or completely equation-free models like the infinite universe or particle model, new scientists working outside the mainstream are making progress where mainstream is not. And you can read about this progress on our new website, sciencewoke.org, where you can find critical thinkers taking science forward into the 21st century.